Well, there is good news about the number of future priests. Enrollment is up in Catholic seminaries. According to Georgetown University's Center for Applied Research in the Apostolate, 1,900 men under the age of 30 enrolled in 2016. That's up from 1,300 in 2005. Joining us now is Elizabeth Dias, religion and politics correspondent for Time, who penned the article, The God Squad, The Next Generation of Catholic Priests. What a fun story to do. So fun. Thank you so much for talking about sure. it. Sure. You said that you're interviewing them and that they're studying to become priests and the current age, 34 years old, but they're doing something to reinvent the priesthood. What is that? Well, you have to remember, these are children of the 90s, right? So it's 90s kids becoming priests. What does that look like? And <laughs> A lot of TV? Right. I don't know. <laughs> well, you know, they have Facebook and Instagram, most of them. Um, one of them was telling me how he likes to brew his own beer. Another protests with uh, Black Lives Matter protests. Another even told me he supports recreational pot usage. Hello. Wow. So it's a whole different idea of what kind of style of a priest do we have coming up in the ranks? And I think that it's interesting to look at why this is important. Uh, according to Kara, the, in 1965, the number of priests was about 58,000, and last year it was 37,000. There were 3,500 parishes that don't have a priest. So do you think these millennials are going to change those numbers, increase them even more? Well, they're certainly hoping to, uh, and it's something that Pope Francis has a similar mission about. And so it's interesting watching an 80-year-old leading the global church with a similar vision as these young guys in Chicago and Washington and outside of New York. Uh, so they're really hoping that the kind of priest that they can have will be different. So it's funny there, sometimes um, even though they're more out, some might say outgoing, they also can be more conservative. I mean, they'll wear their clerics feeding the homeless, right? They're not just into jeans and t-shirts blending in. They want you to know that they stand for something different and that their mission is really for the kind of church that Pope Francis has been uh, outlining. How do you think that this is changing the culture of the church? Because there are many older and elderly priests. It's a good question, and it's funny. There are home, like in, in the the priest homes, it's a young guy, and then the eighty year old priest that whose job he's taking over at the parish. Right. And so Pope Francis, for example, the next big synod is going to be about youth and young people and vocational discernment. Right. So it's this bigger vision of how do we change the kind of priest and get the community really involved on a local level. And I think the U.S. and the next generation of priests is a really great example of that. Elizabeth Dias, politics and religious correspondent for Time magazine. Thank you so much for joining us.